Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and today I'm sharing a healthy masala dosha recipe. Healthy crispy masala dosha is an all time favorite and I'm showing three different ways to make masala dosha. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. Now to make the dosha batter into a bowl, add in one cup little millet also known as sama rice or chama rice. Instead of little millet, you can also use foxtail millet. Adding whole grains like millets is a must to make your meals nutrient dense. Please do check my millet recipes for more recipe ideas and information. Next add in 1 fourth cup urad dal, 1 tablespoon methi seeds, add in some water and then wash and rinse a couple of times or until the water is clear. When you are using millets make sure you wash it thoroughly because there might be some sand or dust particles in the millets. And once it is rinsed, soak it for about 2-3 to three hours. Once soaked, rinse it again and add the soaked rice and dals into a blender. Add in 1 teaspoon pink Himalayan salt, 1.5 tablespoon cooked rice. You can use any variety of rice. I am using Kerala Matta rice. You can also use 1 fourth cup of soaked poha if you don't have cooked rice at hand. Add in 1 glass of water and blend well. Once blended, pour into a bowl, cover and let it ferment overnight or for about 8 to 10 hours. I prefer to do this process at night so the batter will be fermented for the next day's breakfast. So the next day morning the batter is nicely fermented. This batter looks just like dosha batter made with rice. So much packed with nutrients and fussy children will not even guess that it's made of millets. When I started introducing millets in my family's diet, it was with this recipe that I started introducing my children to doshas made with millets. To make potato bhaji, I am using one medium sized onion, a small piece of ginger, a sprig of curry leaves, three green chilies. Green chilies you can increase or decrease to suit your taste. So I am slicing the onion. Ginger, I am just slicing the ginger. Slitting the green chilies halfway. Now I am keeping this aside. I am using half kg potatoes. I am going to peel the potatoes. So once the potatoes are peeled, wash and rinse it thoroughly and then roughly chop the potatoes. Okay, now the potatoes are roughly chopped and rinsed thoroughly. So I am going to keep this aside. I am heating my pressure cooker with 2 teaspoons wood pressed coconut oil. Now instead of wood pressed coconut oil, you can use any locally sourced wood pressed oils like uh, groundnut oil, mustard oil or even till oil. Once the oil is heated, I am adding in half teaspoon mustard seeds, 2 whole red chillies, just give it a stir, add in the sliced ingredients and give it a stir. Once the onion starts to get transparent, add in half teaspoon turmeric powder, pink Himalayan salt as needed and give it a stir. Add in the roughly chopped potatoes, add in 1 fourth cup water, give it a mix. Cover and pressure cook for 3 to 4 whistles. After 4 whistles, turn off the flame and allow the pressure to depressurize by itself. Ok now let's open the cooker. Before opening the cooker, always make sure that the pressure has been released by itself. Now I'm going to mash the potatoes. There is little water there but doesn't matter, just mash the potatoes. Ok now the potatoes are mashed well and the potato masala is ready. Now let's start making masala dosha. Heat a cast iron tower and grease it with gingerly oil. Reduce the flame to the lowest and pour in one ladle full of the millet dosha batter and spread it out as thinly as possible. Now 
drizzle in desi ghee about half teaspoon now if you are a vegan you can use wood pressed oils instead of desi ghee once the dosha starts to get roasted place some potato filling and spread it out lightly So this is one way of folding the masala dosha. dosha. So the second method is just fold it like this, fold it like this. So this is another method of folding masala dosha. This is the triangle masala dosha. You can see how crispy the dosha is. Children will not even guess there is millet in this dosha. A very healthy way of including millets in your family's diet. To make the third method of folding masala dosha, fold the dosha into half way like this. and so this is the most popular method of folding masala dosha so guys do try this healthy millet masala dosha and let me know which is your favorite time to have masala dosha and also do you prefer sambar or chutney or both with masala dosha comment below and let me know thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye